Hey YouTube, this is Dave and today I'm going to show you how to upgrade your Minix Neo G4 and uh, if you go to their Facebook page and you scroll down uh, you'll see a link you'll see a link for the firmware Minix uh, Neo G4 4.1.1 RAR and all you do is just copy and copy and paste this into the there but I already have it and then you'll be met up with this uh, login for the Minix server and then you just go in my description and you paste the username uh, which was firmware at minix.com.hk and then the password is public p-u-b-l-i-c and then you log in and automatically you will download uh, as soon as you log in you'll see a download starting down here and uh, it will download a RAR file. Now you need an unzip program or an RAR program. Um, you can click here once it's done and then you show in folder. Okay so you downloaded your firmware and now you will unrar it. So you just right mouse button extract to Neo G4 411. And what's going to happen is going to make a folder and then you have a folder and inside this folder you have drivers this one's 64 bit and the x86 is 32 bit remember where these are because I want to show you something in a second and then you have your flash tool and it's got a arcade batch tool that's the exact that's what you hit to open up that software and then you have your image file here down here G4 dongle 4.1.1 image and that's the software itself okay so what you're gonna do first is you wanna go to um, start button control panel you wanna click on hardware and sound then you wanna come over here and device manager now device manager will open up and you have to look through here to see if there's any issues um, with you know like explanation points uh, usually this is found under other and you'll see a yellow or orange triangle if you see that click it and then update the driver and when it asks you where browse your computer and click on the, those drivers I told you the 86 uh, you know the 32 bit or the 64 bit don't worry about this uh, explanation point Android composite don't worry about that so once you have the drivers loaded it's the um, the drivers for the RK30 and um, okay and now on the Minix micro uh, computer stick uh, you, you click in settings and then you go to USB and then you make sure you click connect to PC and then you click on storage and then uh, also make sure your USB is connected into your computer uh, instead of the power source and then you click on storage and then over here in the corner you have the settings you click on settings you click on USB computer connection and you switch it from media device to mass storage and then you'll see what happens then it says turn on USB storage so you click that and now you can go back to the computer and I'll show you how to do the update now when you open up the batch tool because if you open the batch tool first you may not have the drivers so let's open up the flash tool and then we'll open up RK and then you'll see that your device is in green you don't have to hit switch or anything like that let's just make sure the firmware is loaded so you click up here and then you find the image file and then you hit open and then you hit upgrade and it will upgrade it'll start blinking and this is an easier way to do things uh, instead of putting a pin inside your uh, mini computer you know your minix and possibly breaking it and uh, it's updating the firmware will go to 100 percent then you'll have jelly bean 4.1.1 on your minix neo g4 and um, <clears throat> you 
just have to make sure that you put it on mass storage. So you want to connect your your next HDMI to your TV so you can see what you're doing. And um, you want to make sure you have USB connected to the computer. And physically, you want to have the USB connected to the computer. You want to make sure those drivers are loaded. Comes with the download from the server, you know, the uh, Minix server. I showed you how to get that. And that's it. Just let it run its thing. It's checking its firmware. Then once it's all done, you just unplug it, plug it back in, power-wise, and you have Jelly Bean. And I'll show you what that looks like in a minute. Originally, you would hit the, put the power in as you're pushing the pin into the hole, the reset hole. But um, this is just a easier way to do it, so you don't have to, um, you know, possibly damage your Minix, your G4. <coughs> so it's at up, it says upgrade done, successful one, failed zero, and now let's unplug it and see what it looks like. Actually, the uh, HDMI is connected to the TV. So just restarted the system automatically. I guess you didn't have to unplug the power. Now it's upgrading. Tell you what it says. Now let's see Jelly Bean. It restarts itself. <coughs> 